What is it? That stench. I've smelled it before. Hi, this is Nemesis, and welcome to Halo 2 Let's Play with me, our Lord Funky Fist. Funky Hello. And Fusion Fox. Good evening. Right. But what if they're watching in the morning? Well, they can, they can appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, so can... once again, we're the Arbiter. And right now, there's a big ass battle going on below us. <laughs> Lots of flipping and uh, barrel rolls were done. Most unnecessary. Yeah, and but probably, if, if you didn't notice, yeah, in the beginning of the video, you probably saw the um, models popping in and crap. No. That's a result of the streaming they did. Hey, what are they standing on? Uh, glass. Oh. It didn't look like anything for a moment. Yeah. Heretic! Oh, look, there's the heretic boss. You were right. Wait, no, you won't. Oh, it's, it's a hologram. <laughs> yeah, it registers an enemy, but you can't really do anything. <laughs> He's using a hollow drone. He must be close. Come out, so we make this. Uh, I don't know why he's amusing me. No, oh, well, job well done, everybody. We killed him. <laughs> so, yeah, dude. The streaming from them deciding not to have any loading Bad screens run. made it so that think textures and models constantly popped in. Oh. And now we're dealing with the flood again. Surprise! Oh no! Yay! <laughs> and good. You know, in the first, in the first Halo, the shotgun is great against the flood. Well, in this one, so is his sword. <laughs> no, swords are well against any anything, obviously. So the thing is. But the energy bar at the top right, it usually goes down 10 points for each enemy hit. For the flood, it goes about two or three points down. So it goes, you can use it a lot. And well, that door doesn't unlock until you wiped out most of the flood in this room. So sometimes if they get caught like this, you have to kind of get them to come out before the door opens. <laughs> Although one time, I swear, I think this thing glitched and actually I got stuck in this room. I had to restart the level. Which, you know, wasn't a huge deal because it was only a few minutes in, but still. <laughs> no, officer. I'll like, there's like one flood spore, like, stuck somewhere. I couldn't get to it and it couldn't, it couldn't come out, so it was like... Ah! Well, fuck. And this is one of the things I talked about. Kind of sick you in one spot and you're kind of stuck there for a while. It, it, it's doing that because the next room hasn't loaded yet, and it, this is just taking its time with doing it. I don't know why, but in Halo 2 they like to have a lot of stand, you know, sit in one place and defend yourself type situations. And although you're on an elevator, this is actually, you know, it's an elevator. Big elevator. Huh. Oh, I didn't and notice it. If you, there's usually a kill box right below you, but if you wait to the right point, you can actually skip about, I think, about half of this, half of this room and just go to straight to the next area. Because you can just drop down to the side, but if you do it too early, you'll just hit the kill zone and die. Yeah, that's how elevators work. Yeah. Oh yeah, all those little cylinders, those apparently contain flood specimens, because apparently the forerunners decided it was a good idea to keep flood around. Hmm. Yeah, because that always works out well. I don't they watch horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, since they're hundreds of thousands of years old, I don't think so. <laughs> they, probably, they probably haven't gotten like, any of the broadcast from Earth yet. Well, the farmers are dead. Yeah. yeah. You can see that. That ridiculous lunge with the sword. I mean, you can fly with this thing. I mean, literally. Um, if there's a, there's a glitch with the um, with if you have a scope weapon and a sword like this, you can actually wait until it's red. And if you like, I can't remember the exact details, but if you did it right, you could actually fly with the sword. <laughs> Well, this is the future, so it's seems possible. 
Although, later on, you, there's this way later in the game, there's this one really awesome thing I did with the sword. It's completely unintentional, but it, yeah, I, you'll see it got way later. Not in this video, though. I don't know why I'm talking about things in other videos. It was the highlight yeah. of your life. <laughs> Actually, it's probably because it's more recent. Because I did this, like, several days ago from now when we were talking. And mm. other stuff I did, like, lot, just, like, the night before, so... I was just looking through the glass for some reason. Then why was the elevator turning like that? Oh, I, I think it's because there's this little arm on the elevator that's like accessing the blood samples and they're on all four walls, so we rotate to get through the blood samples or something. I guess I get it. I don't know. Rotates because it looks cool. <laughs> Because they just need to extend the this level. In the future, everything It makes whooshing noises. <laughs> and too bad you have no more of the grunts with you. I'm pretty sure they would help out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Stop pissing at that with the boss. No. Well, you gotta pass time somehow when you wait for the enemies to come out. All your friends are just crying in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they do this just because those boxes contain flood spores, and they get hit, they'll blow up, and then flood spores come out, which is just annoying. And then your plan backfires, but because when you reach the the bottom floor, that thing will break and like <laughs> come out and go away. Oh shit! Oh shit! They're in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the flood. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes as you just probably saw the flood, sometimes just jumps off and misses the elevator. It falls to the desk. Stupid. Yeah, I think that's the door right there, I think. Because there's two doors down at where you get on the level you go to. One of them stays locked, the other one, well, opens for you. Yeah, see, I almost threw off the edge because of the way the lunge works. <laughs> Take this, you bastard. Oh. Alright, I've been times where I have flown off the edge because of the sword lunge. There's not much you can do about it. Except aim for the ledge and hope there's an enemy there and hope that you'll lunge back on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take this dead body. <laughs> you can never be sure with Halo. Yeah, especially with the flood. They can get back up. Of course, now they make it more clear because you actually see, if you, you, sometimes you'll see an infection form actually crawl to a combat form and jump back in and reactivate it. Oh, yep, we're down in the... I was waiting for the door to open and then... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This isn't the right door, is it? <laughs> nope. Will you guys keep it down over there? I'm trying to wait for this door to open. <laughs> we should have brought weapons to burn these bodies. Every one is a vessel for the front. <laughs> Did it just like just give up and just lay down? <laughs> what, the, what the? I don't get what happened there. Well, the carrier deforms are designed to just explode on you. I think, yeah, I don't know, either proximity sense was tripped or it just. I think also if they take enough damage, they're designed to just fall over and blow up. So, or in something, I don't know. Or it's all Penny on the floor and it was trying to pick it up. <laughs> oh, Penny! Oh, <laughs> Above. My red sensor is telling me there's someone over here.
So do your teammates die or were they like they die but then like they get replaced? Um sometimes occasionally there's spots where no matter what you'll get new teammates. The yeah, exit right there that shoot you know throwing plasma grenades almost killing me because they're trying to kill infection for the grenades. You know, infection go forms are right on me. He's covered in flood, quick shoot him. <laughs> Seems the most logical step. So what is this oracle we We'll find out. Oh, the sword is now out of energy, but the funny thing is exactly you still use the handle of the weapon, but it doesn't actually do much damage. It's kind of funny though, I've done it before where in multiplayer uh, on well, Halo 3, I beat some death with uh, <laughs> Just the handle. handle. I'm surprised you didn't lunge up on there. Yeah, you can. I've done it before. It's just sometimes you get caught in your legs, get caught on that le ledge and you just fall back down. So we're just waiting for the next door to open, huh? Yep. This yeah, this level in particular is really bad about the whole blocking you in the room thing. Fantastic. Oh, the door finally opened, but now we got heretics coming through. I thought it was so funny where like you throw like a a plasma grenade on the ground and like it just leaves like this really big marker that that there's something there but yet no one seems to notice it. <laughs> they just run right. Well, of course I think those were the grunts that ran to ran towards it. So. section form because I don't know. I just could have left a while ago but Yeah I know here that the AI sometimes the friendly AI sometimes gets stuck in this room. And this was the case here. They didn't want to leave so Yeah I'm waiting for them. I'm like, oh well. And the door just locked. Oh well, now they're locked in that room forever. <laughs> well, not forever. Uh, they're they're st uh, stuck the there in video game limbo. <laughs> Bring the phantoms close to the mine. You're not leaving until the leader of these heretics. See, the more allies. Have spread throughout the it's really grunts. We don't have enough troops to manage such a large infestation. Find the leader of these heretics. Kill him now. So it's the heretic leader that was collecting blood specimens? No, or it's the Forerunner facility. They're in a Forerunner facility. They just kind of using it because the Covenant really likes the Forerunners. Oh. In fact, they, they pretty much practically worship the Forerunners as gods. That's what the whole religion centers around. If who are the foreigners? They were the they were the guys who built the halos. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, that makes. Sense. And they also were the first. They were the ones who also fought the flood and lost. So they built the halos to destroy the flood, and they activated them, which wiped out all the life. So the flood started. Most of the flood started dead. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know the band foreigner did so much in this game. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were going to hit him off. Yeah. Unfortunately not. Oh, 
three grunts actually helped you. Yeah, I'm <laughs> they didn't well, this take off running. I'll show you just heretic how boss. scripting, because there's the heretic boss. I loaded the complete drop of shields. <laughs> <laughs> take him with the grenade, <laughs> and he's still alive. <laughs> he didn't seem to waste better. Yeah, but yeah, the fact that you lived through all that is just kills. Yeah, it's scripting and work, scripted stuff at work. Because yeah, this, this my job would have been a lot easier if he died right then. Like, oh, he died. Yeah, definitely if he did die and then that scene carried on with just the body on the <laughs> That's funny in Halo One. Yeah, like, like people. Some Where is out, I don't know this, but um. You can lure a banshee into the uh, assault on the control room mission in the final we'll room, this. and you'll Make see the chief force. walking along the platform, and the chief uh, banshee runs him over. The chief Take dies, but the cutscene keeps going. I'm going to cut it. <laughs> the chief talks and everything, but he's now invisible or something. Warriors, return uh, yeah. to the landing zone. Just the because we just talked about the cutscene. Cut this station loose and scare that yeah. heretic from I'm the sure it wasn't important. Yeah, he's cutting the cable that's holding the station. Up in the air. So, in the future, stations are held by cables in the air. Well, the Final Four and design is hanging off this like. Well, I was, wait, what's it? What's it attached to? Then? It's just I don't know. It's like this um, ring around the planet or something. The most I ring really ever. like the ring. <laughs> they, you know, they like to like the mer planet so much they decided to marry it. <laughs> oh. I see. So this game is basically one big allegory for marriage. <laughs> I thought you said it was something to do with Palestine. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. <laughs> Oh god, where are we going? Up. It says, hey, watch this in the corner. What does that mean? <laughs> hey, watch this. Why is it telling me to... I wonder if I don't want to watch it. So you don't have to play anymore? Are you oh, just a squatch? No. It's funny if it just said, hey, check this shit out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that a good thing you did? Yeah. I guess it was, that was cutting the cable. One of the cables, the three supporting the main cable. Mm. Yeah, now the station is open. <laughs> you cut one and just slide. <laughs> and somehow I lived through all that. And the cable's being held by other cables. Are there cables <laughs> holding those cables together? So how many networks of cables are we talking about here? Well, we're just talking about one cable, cable and then three little cables splitting from that uh, to, to distribute evenly. So. I see. The, cab the cable is within you. <laughs> Cable is yours? Yeah. How are you gonna so survive this thing falling? I mean, this uh, well, eventually the plan is to bail out. <laughs> it seems like the kind of thing you should think of in like an escape plan before you go cutting cables. Well, the idea is the Arbiter is supposed to go on the suicide mission. This Arbiter's mission is for uh, trying time. His mission is suicidal. He's, he's not expected to live. Okay. Well, as long as he's okay. With he's basically a suicide bomber. <laughs> oh god, let's not stop. <laughs> <laughs> Just... Oh my. Deep <laughs> heaven. Yeah, notice everything just kind of stops. Even the flood stop, and like, what the hell? Oh shit! <laughs> oh wait, I'm falling. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't, like, see you going and cutting those cables. They only just realized. I did it! Are you using an elevator while you're falling down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're breaking <laughs> This is even possible. <laughs> it doesn't seem physically possible. <laughs> the heretic leader yeah. is on the move. Do I like the fact that in the Halo 2, there's we'll no fall damage like on like Halo 1. Can. Wait, so there's no fall damage, then you should survive this then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> no, Shut up. So you said there was one more cable? Okay. Nope, that was all the cables. Okay. Three cables done. No, now we're falling. Now no, this one's one really, really big now cable. Now we're in free fall. Yeah, now we're in free fall, so... There's a surprising amount of gravity. Now we gotta... I think 
I think this station's. I think uh, I've already like probably you know they're probably built with artificial gravity or something. You know. <laughs> because science. Hey. I mean, come on, you're expected to believe this race built these giant ring-shaped planet We're things on their own. Why wouldn't they be able to make it so they can implement artificial gravity on something free-falling in a gas giant rapidly towards the core as gravity probably gets like, like, harsher and harsher? <laughs> I guess I kind of do that. Wait, so where are you, where are you going to hit eventually? You're going to hit the ground or you're going to... Well, it's a gas giant, so... I guess eventually you'd hit the core, but by then you'd be dead. Oh. What's wrong with you? You'll never escape this maelstrom in a fantasy. Wait, the hangar. They want to start a fight on the <laughs> Yeah, I'm already there. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, if you slow down, you're going to be fucked. Yeah, you have to have a cutscene for him show him walking through the door. Good again. And I guess they didn't <laughs> trust you to just kind of, you know, walk through the door yourself or something. Bungie doesn't think much of us. Yeah, so now we're going backwards through what we did before. It's a pitch thing, you're back in Halo 1. <laughs> yeah, this is the same gas planet as we saw in the opening cutscene for the or Arbiter. This is the same gas planet that Halo was orbiting around. So we saw the remnants of that. Hmm. I see. In fact, you can actually hurt someone with the sword while you're still pulling it out. So I've done that before, in Halo, like multiplayer in particular. You know, like, because in Halo 2 and 1, you didn't see the, what the, other we the other weapon that the guy had. So you'll see someone with a battle rifle or something, and you'll, you know, brush up to him all of a sudden. All of a sudden, he just lunges towards you, and you're dead, and turns out he has a sword. And he puts it away before it's even fully shown. <laughs> Holy shit. So even lunging just by pulling it out. You could like pull it out, lunge, go, done. Yeah, I see he's not even, you know, fully on yet in the animation, yet he's already using it. Oh, frame rates. It's funny how people complain Reach frame rate wasn't that stable, but it's like, uh, Halo 3 was the first thing for Halo that really had a totally stable frame rate. Yeah, Halo 1 and 2 did not have stable frame rates. I would know this now because I've just played them. <laughs> now I'm the one who designed them. Wait, what? <laughs> you think it's VR like video captions? Yeah, it actually really is. It is that. It, the frame rate is sometimes that bad in the game itself. Sometimes it is the video capture. But. Yeah, a lot of it though, I can definitely blame on the game. So was there any real purpose of blowing up the entire room like that? Well, sometimes, I've taken out like half the people in this room if I blow and I didn't up like that. Which makes getting through here a little bit easier. Also, plus, there have been times where I didn't blow them up and then someone else's spray shot got one when I was walked running by it. And, yeah. Standing in the middle of a bunch of explosions is not good for your health. Mm. Oh shit. Oh. Boss fight. Turn, heretic. Arbiter. I would rather die by your hand than let the prophets lead me to slaughter. Who has taught you these lies? Hey, it's Weekly. That jerk. The Oracle. Hello. I am 343 Guilty Spark. I am the monitor of Installation 04. Ask the Oracle about Halo. How they would sacrifice us all for nothing. More questions? Splendid. I would be happy to assist you. Haha, <laughs> he tricked you. Oh. The elites are blind, Arbiter. But I will make them see. The weird thing about this boss fight is it swings wildly from incredibly easy to incredibly difficult depending on how things go in the fight first two seconds. Okay. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> yeah, these ones, these hollow drones can kill you because for some reason their weapons are real, even though they're holographic. Yeah, so yeah, I took out the hollow drones and then they say, and here I use adva abused uh, sword lunge. <laughs> he just looks over, like, wondering where you are when you're just, like, jumping off the screen. Yeah. Which just makes it even weird, like, you're falling and yet you're lunging up like that, like... What the fuck? <laughs> I had no choice, Holy Oracle. This heretic imperiled the Great Journey. Oracle? Great Journey? Why do you insist on using something We're still falling, by the way. Yeah, but we're gonna leave. <laughs> But anyway, and not only are they gonna leave, we're gonna leave, because the end of the video is here, so once again, I'm Nemesis. And on behalf of everyone, I say bye.